mutakarib, and it goes da 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 da. I'll read you a few lines so you get the feel. The name Chodavan de Jano Charat, Kazin Bar Tarandi Shibar Nag Zarat, Chodavan de Nam, Chodavan de Jai, Chodavan de Ruzi de Hebrat Namor. How does this have a short form? Short is anything with a short vowel in it, like a, as opposed to a. Long would be a. So that would be a with a line over it, so a, rather than a. OK, i, rather than e. So e is long and i is short. It's kind of logical, isn't it? OK, a or e, they're both the same. So it can go either way. So that's how you get by putting words in it. Oh, what am I going to use for a word? I can just use K or uh, something really short and just throw that in there because that'll give me the short syllable that I need. Oh, yeah, two of these equal one of those. So two shorts equal one long. So ba, ba, r, r, all alone is a short because it's just any consonant all alone is a short. So any consonant all alone, I guess we can put there consonant all alone. Two consonants together is a long, but if there's a vowel in between them that's a long vowel, then it becomes long short, because the other, the last one is a short, because the first one's long. All right, so let's see. Be na me ko da van de ja. That's long, right? No. Khe. Rash. Or we have two shorts, make a long. The end always rhymes. So there's a rhyme scheme plus the rhythm scheme, and plus little tricks in the middle where you have reappearance of rhyming sounds and stuff. Try to figure out where the long and short. So you'll put either a V or a, a line above the syllables. So the first one is ba, but this is ba. OK. Ba and ha. Ramad Sho Ku Fe either way, but it would be weird if it was short. So why don't we just wait and see? Kar Kar Okay, Kar De Tu Fon Tu Fon. Okay, why would you think maybe this would be weird if it was a short? Do these things kind of have similarities to themselves? So if you have da 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 does that sound cool or does it sound kind of dumb? Okay, so would you take a chance on the one that could be either long or short? If you wrote a long down there, look at it and see if it looks more logical or not. Fe. Fe could be either short or long. So do you want to try for a long? Sure. Because it's less Jumping and jerky, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll check with the next line. So yeah, the same here, the same here, and then this just a shorter version. Fe and K. Well, they still could be long or short, unless we knew what type of poem this was. We take one look at it and we say, oh, that's da 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 Oh, that's a charbeti. So Rumi, which is actually Molavi or Molana, he's known for his famous Beshno Azne. Chun hekayet mikonad, as jodai ha shekayet mikonad. Listen to the read as it tells its tale of separations, makes its mournful wail. Besh, long, long, no, short, short, short. Okay, besh, no, as long, right, long. If the vowel comes before the consonant, ne, long, chun, long, long, he, short, short. Ka, long. Yat, long. Me, long. Ko, short. Mat, long. Okay, you guys are all poets. Be ya. Ya. Sa, ke, on, me, ke, ha, a, va, ra. Okay, you figured it out. So what is this? Da 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 da. 
Does that sound familiar? Wasn't mm -hmm. that the first one? That's the first one. Usually it takes two lines to make sure. That All right, let's back to what we're doing today. This isn't anything that you needed to know, but it was kind of fun to find out that you guys can do that. Our letters and their letters, both of these, all of these developed from the same original pictures. Now these little pictures here were used to explain things in writing. Later on, these pictures became sounds. They chose just a few of them, and they turned them into sounds. And uh, there were two ways of doing this. One was our way, the one that was developed into our alphabet, and the other is the one that developed into the Arabic or Persian alphabet, and many other alphabets developed from the same set of pictures. And I want you to see if you can guess what letter this is. A, A. A, that's right. It used to be an animal head. And then we turned it upside down and it became an A. Now what happened was, in the other alphabet that we're learning, it got thinner and thinner until that's all there was of it. That first letter way over there. The Arabic and Persian A. Now let's see if we can guess this one. B, B, B. B. That's right, B. Okay, what they did is they just used the bottom part of this, and then they put a dot so that you would know it was different than some others that look similar to that. All right, how about this one? Okay, well, let's turn it this way and see if you can recognize it. D. 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 I D. No, somebody did. I didn't hear you. Okay, this is what they did. They just took off one side of it, and that's their D, which is this letter right here. All right, how about this one? E now, we have to take R. the bottom off of it before it makes sense. E. I said it, I said it. Okay, said what else? O. O. O, there we go, O. O, and then also V, because V is just a type of you written with straight lines. And so that's their letter here. How did they get that? It was the same thing with this direction, and then they curved it even more, and pretty soon it started to look like that. So that's their V, O, and W, and U. All right, how about this one? This is easy. L. L. Right, L. except they put more of a curve into it. Ooh, that looks like an R. <laughs> yeah, like that. It looks like a J. Now, here's a guy's face, and he's got a long, R. skinny beard. R. R. Right, R. R. All right, what they did is they just took part of that, this part there, and just a bend like that, except they go this direction. So here's the guy's face, and there's his beard. This is their R. That's the way they write it. They just decided which part of the face they wanted to use. Okay, how about this? Why? Why? That's exactly right. What happened was they did it this way. It's an and and an arm is what it used to be. And then they did it more like that, and this is what their Y looks like. Because what? What did I say this was? B. B. Okay, what did I say this was? A. 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 Okay, remember, we're going this direction now. If I put these together, what are we going to have? Ba. Ba. Who said that? I did. Okay, smart. What if we have two of them? Ba, ba. Ba, ba. And what does that mean? You know that. Dad. Dad. Okay, or Papa. Okay, now we know what this is. Let's see if we can pronounce that. No cheating, now she knows. Um, <laughs> But what? what? Bod. 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 This is the aw ah sound. It always the aw ah sound. Bod. Now, if we wanted to write bad, they don't use the aw, ah, and they just put the B right with the D. So it goes real fast. Back. Instead of bod. All right? Let's see what happens if we put this and then this, our little friend here. Do you know who this, or what this was? L. R. R. Who said that? Burr. Okay, so pronounce that. Then. R. Bod. Now, if you wanted the word bur or bar, then again, we would have no A. We would just write those two letters together. Does anybody want to see if they can do their name? Who's got a real easy name? That's not easy. A short name. If it's name, short, it's easier. Yeah. Sid. Who? Short Mike. Mike. John. 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 That's hard, but John's easy. Where's John? Ben. Ben would be good. Ben or John? Come on, John, let's see if you can do it. Now, one thing I haven't told you yet about these 
is uh, certain ones of these letters, they don't connect after, but all of them connect before. So you have this R here. We're going to connect it up before, but we wouldn't connect it afterwards because it gets mixed up. So we'd have R, A would be like that. And then we'd have D. We couldn't connect the A to the D because that's one that doesn't connect. But you, you couldn't connect the D either. If you had something like a K, we could connect that. So uh, we'll, I'll, I'll warn you when we get to a letter whether you can connect it or not. Where's our two dots? Okay, now we need a B. Give me a B. That hooks up. B before but not after. That's it. Okay, now give me an N, but don't hook it to the B because you can't hook it to the B. There you go. Ivan. Great. Okay, can anybody tell us what this is? What's this first one? G. Okay, what's that one? O. Okay, and what's this? L. C. N. H. A. N. O. O. L. A. I want you to see if you can tell me what this is. Numbers. Okay, what numbers? One, two, three. Okay, which one's one? A, B, C. The middle. Okay, which one's two? The one right here. No. She's right. The one over here. Two. And which one's three? Okay. Let me see if I can pull you. I see it. I see it. Okay. 400 Okay. Let's see what you what this is. What do you think that is? Nine. Okay. Nine. And what's this? Eight. Turn sideways. Kind of funny looking. Seven. Three. Seven. Four. Four. That's 49. Okay. Let's try one more and see if you can move. It's a little bit tricky. Who says five? Where's which one's the five? That one. When you pointed to. This one. This one or this one? That one. No, that's not the five. Oh, <laughs> it's the other one. The middle one. Heart upside down. Is it five? How do you know? <laughs> okay, that's the five. Because see, here's our five. That's a great big round thing, just like that. Okay, what's this? Four. Seven. Zero. Six, you cheated, seven, you know. Eight, okay, eight, and what's eight, the one in the middle eight, now? Eight, no fair telling. Six, zero. 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 Who said that? How do you know zero? Eight, Not 75. Eight, 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 eight. Right. Because this is the way the eight used to look, see? Yeah. <laughs> 85. Okay, now you know all the numbers. Of course, you know what that is. One. Ten. 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 And then, of course, you know what that is. No. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> and of course, another hook on it would be 30. And then you turn backwards and it would be 40. Okay. So we get both of those underneath the string. And sometimes it's a little tricky. You have to get going. Okay. So you get that under there. You see? That's under one of them. Then you find the one that's just behind it. It's twin that's way back there behind. And you reach through and you pull on that that's behind there. You can find out which one it is. You pull on it, you pull this one around, and you hook it under there, and then you pull it through and make a knot. And you pull this around, you twist it under, you pull it through there, and make a knot. You see how I made a knot there? Okay, you make this knot, and you pull it down with itself like that. You pull it down, and you come along with this part, and you chop it off. Like that, sort of saw it off. Okay, and you keep going all the way across till you've made a row like that. When you've made a row like that, then you come on and you cut it off. And then you take this string here, one of these two sides should have one, and you weave it across by changing the this, this setup. You go like that and you, you scrape across and it changes the ones that are on top go on the bottom. And so it's just the opposite of what you've been doing. And you put a string through there, and then you pull this down again, so the ones that are on the top are back on the top again, and you scrape across it. This is kind of broken down. I've got to fix some of these. If they, I haven't used this for a long time. This one's set up. Okay, now what we're going to do is have some volunteers. And so maybe we've all got a chance to try it, and we can show each other. Oh, okay. It's way back. Yes. 
Persian rugs. Why is Navajo so the, Persian rugs? Navajos and Persian rugs are the two famous yeah. types of rugs. Okay. Don't watch for war. Okay, good. Now you get this out of here. There you go. Okay, then this goes across. That's it. It's going to be perfect. Be careful. That's great. Sort of get a rhythm going. 